Hey, my name is Kat, I'm a California CPA, and in this video I'll show you how to enter interest and dividend in Lacerte. Let's start. Alright, so first of all we open the client in um, Lacerte. Make sure we open the correct text file. So this one is individual. Uh, when we open the file as a client, um, the interest go under box this section 11 and dividends under box, uh, I'm sorry, section 12. So let's start with interest. Uh, so there's two ways. So here we have like more general way or section where we can enter like general information in here, like more detailed. So let's start with this one. So we enter like state um, the name of the payer. We enter if it's taxpayer or a spouse. So obviously here it says one taxpayer, two for a spouse, and we enter amounts. If we go under details, it's kind of the same. So here you go interest. It says interest. If you have any tax exempt interest, we enter here. Uh, there's also on the right side uh, right here we can source it to state if we need to i mean usually we don't need to because um, interest is sourced to their uh, home state but in case if you do it's there's an option we enter a tax withhold or any information we need to uh, also there is foreign for foreign tax credit if you do need to enter it we enter it right here we enter a category a name of foreign country and things like that if you need to add another payer, we just uh, enter it here uh, under on the left. We just add and do the same. We enter if it's a taxpayer and how much is the interest. And after we're done with entering the um, interest, it should show up on uh, Schedule B. In this case, it we don't see um, Schedule B highlighted here. Uh, it's not in bold because I think it's... Um, amount limitation so it's not required under certain threshold but we if you want to do see it we just can check this box show all and just go over here and we can see our schedule b uh, interest listed under schedule b so that's that if we, um, then we go to dividends we go under section 12 we enter um, the payer information if it belongs to the taxpayer or spouse uh, we enter ordinary and qualified information, capital gain distribution, like anything we pretty much need to enter, we can enter it here under general entry. If you do need to enter another payer on the left side, we can just do payer 2 and do the same thing. Let's say it's 200 and 200. And also under details, we have to enter name of the payer, payer identification number, street address. I think those are not required. I think EIN might be required, might be not. I don't think it is, but pretty much that's what we have to do. If you need to source it, we can also source it here. Like I said, usually we don't have to source um, dividends, interest and capital gains because it is sourced to home state. But if you do, there is an option. And here under dividend income section, uh, there is this boxes that it says like let's say line 1a and it corresponds to form 1099 dividends so it's easy we just kind of like enter what we see under boxes federal tax withhold if you need to uh, i would like to show you also foreign tax credit so that's where we enter foreign information so let's say 80 dollars 80 bucks we had like 10 bucks of federal foreign taxes and 80 dollars of foreign uh, ordinary dividends or qualified so we enter category of income and usually it's a passive income unless you have some specific one under uh countries we have other country or you can choose if you have one country obviously you can enter it here uh, so be so this is something to be careful with because it says percentage or amount if different so if we enter like let's say this so it will think that we enter percentage so it will take percentage of this total ordinary dividends so i don't recommend entering this way i would just enter like let's say we have 80 dollars uh, for an ordinary qualified let's say we have the same and here we enter foreign income tax withhold in US dollars. This is something we need to enter to calculate foreign tax. So let's say it's $10. We can choose a check here if foreign taxes are accrued, but usually they're paid. 
and here date paid or accrued i don't think it's mandatory it's never it was never asking me to enter it here but there is an option if we need to and yep and that's pretty much it and then we go to schedule b still not highlighted because it's it's below the threshold and we can see our dividends here and there's some questions about uh, uh, FBAR, if they have to file it or not, but let's not concentrate on that. All right, so this is it. I hope that was helpful. And you can see like here on foreign tax credit, now we have this $80 of source income here and $10 of uh, taxes with hold on dividends. Um, so it generated our form, foreign tax credit form. Hope that was helpful. Thank you. I hope you found my video helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and what I do, please go to my website, remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel. It means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.